TN 5250J. Fantastic name. So TN 5250J is a Java uh, application. It's free and uh, it gives you a very basic, simple to use. Um, doesn't even need installing because it's Java screen emulator for the good old IBM I system. Um, go to tn5250j.org. This is arguably probably the most common um, free IBM I emulator out there. The It's a bit confusing because it's so old there are various websites. You'll find it on GitHub which is where the source lives. You'll find it on SourceForge I think which is one of the original places. Um, but the best place if you want to grab it Go to tn5250j.org. You have a nice little overview. I'll take some of this and put it into the lesson itself. Um, a quick blurb about the features, how it works and what it does, and a nice little download for downloading the thing. And you can download the full binary, which is 0 0.76, or you can download an installer. Uh, personally, I just download the binary and then click on the jar file to run it. Remember to install Java in your Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever desktop thingy that you're running, and uh, it will work. So let's just do it all in real time. I'm going to grab this TN5250 0.7.6 full bin .zip and plop it down into my downloads folder. So um, it should be there, actually. Let me have a look. Oh, it's waiting for GitHub. Oh, it's the Amazon AWS. So there we go. Ding, ding, dong. There's a zip file with all of the stuff in there. So if I just whip off to my downloads folder, here's the zip file that came down. Um, extract it. I use WinRAR. You can use WinZip, Windows, whatever the heck you like. Um, and here is a folder with all of our stuff in here. And somewhere in here, I'm expecting to see, there we go, a TN5250J.jar. If I double click on this, I'll bet you it runs the 5250 emulator. So, of course, what you could do is you could take this folder, call it whatever you like. I typically, I would call it, you know, TN5250J and drag it to my desktop or something. Then you just go into the folder and you run that jar file. So let's just run it and see what happens. Oh, the excitement. I can barely contain myself. Okay, it flashed up a little message saying, Welcome to TN5250, and comes straight up with this connection screen where it's asking me what machine I want to connect to. Uh, all the options here show this dialog at startup, start up the last view. You can log various things. We can set a password to even access it. That's quite nice. We can override where the PDF viewer is or where the browser is. And we've got the about. This is version 0.7.6. Let's add a new connection. I'm going to go to Pub400 once again. So I'm going to give it a name of Pub400. Uh, start in a new JVM. So I'm just going to leave the defaults where possible. The TCP IP says, right, where are you going to? I'm going to pub400.rzkh.de. The default is 40, uh, 23. I'm leaving that as default. Um, I'm not going to change anything else. It doesn't get much easier than that, right? So all I've put in is the system name, which is for me to recognize it, and where I'm going, I'm going to add it. So there's my system. I'll make that my default, because I'm only doing one for this example. Um, let's apply it, and now all we've got to do is figure out how to connect to it. I'll double-click it. Boom! <laughs> That's pretty easy, right? So let me maximize this window so we can see it in all its glory. So just like the lesson I did just a minute ago, looking at Microsoft, TN5250J has a very, very similar layout. Um, I'm not too sure why it tabs up here. I wonder if we can add multiple tabs for different browser sessions in different machines, possibly. Uh, again, let me try and sign on. Here's the screen layout. So it's a very basic emulator. I can't do much in way of changing settings up here. Um, I haven't got any function keys. Doesn't look like I've got any um, virtual printer functionality. Um, something else that I notice is that it doesn't have hotspots. I sometimes use these, you know, just double clicking on the function keys to go places. I quite like that in some of the uh, other browsers out there. But uh, yeah. If you just want to have the ability to sign on, 
get straight into the world of IBMI and run your applications without any drama. Oops, it's not even my name. I'm not a litten. Kitten? Yeah. It just works. Not much else I can say about this. Plain, vanilla, uh, IBMI 5250 emulator. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Impressed. Free. What's not to like?